Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the monthly view, the March monthly view in my catch-all planner. Um, this is the planner where I'm the most seasonal. It's where I keep track of any holidays, personal and, you know, um, public holidays. So, and I've been replacing every month. I printed my own tabs. Um, and I've been replacing every month with colored paper. So we're gonna get going on this one. Um, green for March, of course. I've also been using the Sticker Guru, um, the Sticker Guru monthly kits for 2023. Although it's, they're not 2023 specific per se. Um, meanwhile, I'm just switching to a, a pr properly dated March, so I have it for reference to see um, what numbers to put where. So these are all my post-it notes. First thing I need to do is draw in my grid. This um, paper, this colored paper, is from Archer and Olive, which is basically what I'm using a different color pretty much every month. And because I'm using the same brand, I know that making my squares eight by eight is gonna make it, number one, it's gonna help it fit on the page properly. And number two, it's gonna give me the same roughly size boxes as Happy Planner. So um, I will do that. Here is the 2023 Sticker Guru March monthly kit. Um, as you can see, it's got some green, but it's basically, it's Sakura themed. And I love, my favorite color combination is pink and mint green, so I actually think this kit is going to be amazing on this paper. Um, it's got rose gold foil, which um, I absolutely adore. I think it's perfect for this kit. Here, though, is the problem. Um, I don't have, so I feel like my numbers for this kit could be um, Shamrocks or Sakura, either one. The problem is I don't have either of those numbers in rose gold. I've got um, pink Sakura numbers. I've got silver numbers. I've got green Shamrocks and I've got rainbow Shamrocks and um, none of those are rose gold. I could use these numbers that come with the kit, but I don't feel like I want this shade of kind of sage, earthy green on this mint green paper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw in my grid, put in my surrounding decorative stickers, and then we'll come back and figure out what uh, what numbers are gonna look the best. Right now, I'm kind of thinking maybe the rainbow shamrocks, just because since I don't have foil that matches the rose gold, maybe rainbow is the way to go. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not totally sold on that yet. So I am gonna speed this up. I just have a black Papermate flare. I like using Papermate flares for this kind of thing because that gives me the line thickness that I need. I also know I need to just start right in the corner and do my count of eight up and eight across to get me the grid placement where I need it to be. So once I get, I'm gonna, that, I've already sped it up. Once I get that all done, I will uh, come back to you and talk through what my next step is gonna be. I was gonna skip this part, but I got many, many requests to include it. So here we are. I do have a link in the description box. Uh, if you use that link for Sticker Guru, you will get uh, a discount of 15% and I will get a coupon as well. Always wipe off the edge of your ruler. <laughs> okay, so you probably noticed at the beginning, I, I apparently can't count to eight, <laughs> but that's okay. It happened really, really early, so I was able to recover by just flipping my pages over. Okay, so these two strips go across the top. Um, the only thing I can't remember is where to start them. So I'm referring back to February. Um, looks like I start them lined up with this center edge. So let's go ahead and do that. It is going to uh, cover up my top row a little bit, but the other thing is there's not a lot of design all the way up to the tippy tippy top, so I can um, bring them up a bit. I'm, I'm looking to see what I did last month. Two, four, six. Looks like I kept the entire sticker 
and just let it cover up the top bit. So I'm going to do that with both sides. Sticker Guru stickers are pretty good um, as far as repositioning goes. Now this looks like a big solid sticker, but it actually is um, little cut bits. So it is not what I need for the side and the extra boxes. All right, so these are actually what I want for the side bar. Um, but the thing is, I can never remember how these stack together. So these are slightly larger than square. They stack up to make one long picture on the side. I just need to figure out, it looks like this flower here connects here, this one connects here, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to start with this box, and I'm just going to stack these up, connect it right to the top here, that doesn't connect anywhere, does it? No. This, yeah, this connects here. All right. So I'm just going to stack these four boxes up to create, to build my sidebar. Just stack them right up with that first sticker. Sometimes it makes um, a very coherent side, and sometimes it it doesn't. From what I've noticed over the last, this is this is third month. If you do a good job lining up your stickers, you can't even tell that they're separate. Excellent. Okay, so where are now these then? As you can see, this um, kind of is also a continuous scene. I could have put it over there, but like I said, these are slightly larger than square, and they don't fit in these um, boxes very well. So. In March in particular, these three boxes are empty and this one box is empty. So I think maybe what I might want to do is go ahead and put, do I want to put, what I've been doing is putting these all in the empty boxes, but I don't know. Um, I think this month, in January and February, the empty boxes were all together down here, and it helped to balance all of this to have a chunk down here. But there's just one, and I don't, I kind of don't feel like I want to put all of this up here. So I think for once, I might save these. Let's go ahead and get my other things, my days of the week. Um, where? I'm missing a sticker sheet. Okay, so here's here's my full moon. Here is my uh, how these are all the other things I need for my monthly. I am missing though. I think I need to pause this and find it. I'm missing the um, rose gold text. This. I think I might have accidentally stuck it in the wrong spot. Nope, I used those days of the week. Where did it go? I know I have one of these for this kit. Okay, found it. Um, I didn't think this matched at first because it looks more copper than rose gold, but they all look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just see this band here that's a little bit faded out. That's where I'm gonna put my days of the week. Um, and I'm going with a Sunday start. And then, yeah, that's gonna look great right there. And then we'll figure out what date dots to use. All right, and then I have my, I've been using these as my monthlies. These are actually from Orange Umbrella. I just liked that they were clear and they weren't a foil, they were black. You can add on <clears throat> the March in matching foil through Sticker Guru. I just, um, I already had these and I didn't want them to go to waste, so I decided to go ahead and go with those. Okay, so now it's decision time. I need to decide what date dots I'm going to go with. I'm tempted to go with Sakura because it's got the little Sakura florals, although I really don't have um, a nod to St. Patrick's Day anywhere on here. 
who I think if I'm going with Sakura, I think silver. But the other thing I could do is, like I said, since I've got Sakura here, um, maybe I'll do a nod to St. Patrick's Day. These are super dark green, so green on green might look okay. I don't think I want the rainbow. I think that's going to be a little too in your face. So let's, yeah, let's, um, hmm, oh my gosh, you guys, talk to me. It's down to either silver flowers or green shamrocks. I don't feel like the silver is going to clash too much with the rose gold. Silver. I, I don't want to mix very, very, very heavily um, the shamrocks. The, if, if this was all St. Patrick's, then I think I would go shamrocks. But since it's all Sakura, I think I want to stick with the light, delicate spring Sakura vibes. I don't think I mentioned these are um, my super pointy tweezers. They're great for lots of little stickers like this. They are for dealing with artificial eyelashes. I do have a link in the description box for these. It is an Amazon affiliate link. Don't be afraid of affiliate links. Um, they don't cost you any extra. They simply take a few pennies of the profit uh, and direct them to the person who provided the link to you. In this case, me. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I like the feel of that. I think the big, heavy, dark green um, shamrocks would have been a little too much. So the other thing I have here is clear matte sticker paper where I went through. Um, I used a, just a generic spreadsheet program, picked a font, made it as small as I possibly could, and printed out all of the different holidays for the entire year in rough chronological order. And that's public holidays and personal holidays. So they're all on here. So that I could stick them on here just like um, in the boxes of the Happy Planner. So spring begins, there's a birthday, Ramadan. I gotta figure out where March stops. I guess I could just start putting them on there. Um, let me see. I gotta go to my so one the what I use the perpetual calendar for um, in my catch-all is personal holidays as well. So let's see. World Wildlife Day I have is the third, and I that is my first sticker. So I'm just gonna speed it up while I go ahead and put these on. I do have lots of videos on um, making your own stickers. So I'm not going to get too into detail on this. Lots of times for decorative stickers, I use Canva. Um, but in this particular case, since this is just text, I like to use just a generic spreadsheet program for that. Excellent. Okay. I think that's it. I think. Oh, nope. Just looking at my next calendar, a pre-done calendar. I have Ramadan on here, and that is the 22nd. And then April Fools. Yep, obviously that is the 1st of April. So there we go, done with that. All right, so I paused it, cleaned up a little bit, and went ahead and put, uh, got on my calendar and put all the other stuff on in here functionally, the things that need to happen. So let's go ahead and put boxes on for all of that. Um, I think last month I used a bunch of different shapes. Well, first thing I want to do is I like to put whatever color of these matches the best down here at the bottom, just to kind of do like a finished edge to this. Um, so let's do that. It fills that space nicely and just kind of, like I said, gives it a little bit of a finished edge. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick all these on here. I have my uh, full moon stickers here. So what I thought I could do, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. There are four that have um, foil on them, or I can go with those that don't have foil on them. So I think I wanna go ahead and use some of these. Uh, let's see. So for full moon, I have these that don't have a top bar and then some of these that do have a top bar. So for example, Bill Do, um, there's a Bill Do sticker. So let's go ahead and use one of these there. All of my bills are uh, auto pay, 
but I still like to check on them sometimes. So especially the ones like the house payment where it changes, it's the last Friday every month. Um, I just like to double check those. So let's put bill due on there up on that wide top bar. And then I have my little, my little houses. These are from Orange Umbrella. They're white paper, but at least I can go ahead and um, double check that that went. All right, let's see. I could use appointment for John, uh, John's one work day. Let's go ahead and mark that on there. Let's use um, a brown because pink's not a very husbandy color. You know what I mean? But I want it to stand out. So we'll put appointment on there and then I can just write in the white portion that that is for John working. Um, I can do another um, appointment here. This is also John. Let's do the grayish green one. He's got a painting group meeting up. So he'll be, those are always, depending on how far away they are, they could be overnight trips and the weather, you know, and the area. So, and then these two are nail polish related. So there's a nail polish bottle. I haven't been quite so into shopping this one. So maybe we'll use the nail polish bottle on that one. Now those, I don't mind using the shaped stickers for. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can just mark that PPU, which is polish pickup. And I can march this one, mark this one as HHC. That's Hella Handmade Creations. Again, they are just small independent nail polish collaboratives where they uh, agree on a theme and then all of their nail polishes offerings on that month um, kind of match with the theme. And then the last thing I have is the full moon. So these are my full moon stickers from Wilson Wild. I do have Wilson Wild linked in the description box. Um, and I just like to know when the full moon is not um, for anything other than looking up at the sky at night when I'm brushing my teeth or whatever. I get curious, you know, that moon looks pretty full. I wonder when the full moon is and, and I have it here. So um, do I want to put that over something? It's a little too wide. I guess I could put it over that. Ooh, what if we put it like that? That's kind of cute. Let's do that. Oh wait, except is it going to fit? I could put it that way. I mean, just because it's at the, yeah. I, my my um, instinct is to put it at the top, but it won't fit with the date. So let's put it at the bottom. And then the last thing, so functionally that's everything other than I, will, I like to mark my um, trash versus recycling days because they are every other day. And I forgot to pull those stickers. So I will be right back. So these are my trash and recycling stickers. They're from Sweet Avis Paper. She's got a little kitty cat hoodie on, which I actually have a couple of those from uh, my time in Japan. Uh, anyway, these are perfect because she's wearing pink. So like I said, in our neighborhood, every other week is recycling. And so the seventh is recycling and the 21st. So she's got her little green recycling bin and then trash. So functionally, that's everything. Um, I do have the deco. It comes with a deco set of stickers as well. So what I like to do is put then some clear black quotes in to fill up spaces. I think I do want to go ahead and put maybe one. Do I want to put one sticker down here? Hmm. I want to put something there. I just don't know if I want to maybe save this because I feel like on a weekly spread that could be a nice long um, strip. So maybe I'll save that. And instead I could use 
maybe one of these and put a black quote on it. Like this one with the sakura blossoms coming up from the bottom. Let's do that. That helps me cover up then my little weird uneven black line too. Okay, so then for quotes, I want to put a big quote here. I like to put a quote here to balance that. I pulled the um, Amber Plans Her Day Spring Memories uh, book. I just got both the Spring Memories and the Spring Collections, uh, and I thought I would look through both of them. She has a wonderful clear black quotes and words on here, so not Easter yet. Buy it local. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. It's too long. Ooh. Okay. Um, so I have no nod on here anywhere to St. Patrick's Day. So let's put this single word lucky up here, and that'll balance with March. I kind of want to fit it in between these petals. I don't want to cover one up, but it's good if I, I guess I could put it over. Is that going to look off center? Not too bad, actually, surprisingly. It fits right in between these three petals very nicely. Okay, so there's my nod to St. Patrick's Day. It's not exactly the same font, but it does kind of balance. Looks like I have it a little bit crooked, though. Let's see if I can get it a little straighter. And then let's look for something along here. Something about flowers, maybe. Be the sunshine, smell the flowers. Spring adds new beauty. That's nice. Spring is here. Something about spring, because the other thing that big thing that happens this month is the first day of spring. So how about spring adds new beauty? Because I'm all about the Sakura vibes. And then I can use a couple of these around it, maybe. Branches coming in. Yeah, let's bring this right out of the corner. And then I want another one over here, maybe coming up. Oh, one more word or quote or something for right there. Um, hopefully I can find something small. Love life. Time to bloom. Time to bloom could fit there. Ooh, yeah. How about time to bloom? Oh, that's pretty. That's going to be perfect. There. Okay. That is it. We are done. So let me show you how I'm going to put it in my planner. So for the left hand side, I printed my divider tab and I laminated that little tab. And I do have video on that. I'll try to remember to link it in the cards up above. I did print just a generic grid on the back in case I didn't want to use these. But since I did, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around this page even in between the punches with some tape runner. I'm just going to go right past the March tab. And then we're going to line up around the punches really carefully because I don't want there to be any resistance to turning. And if I'm not, if I'm slightly misaligned here around the punches, that can cause a little bit of drag on the discs. So I always align really, really carefully right there. Okay, and then on this side, um, I want to turn from this page, obviously, to my first spread. Since this spread is already done, I know I'm not going to get, a, get crazy and decide to do a green spread or something. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All the way around the page, even in between the punches, and stick them together. All right, there we go. There is my March monthly spread in my catch-all planner on nice green Archer and Olive paper using the Sticker Guru March monthly kit with the Sakura vibes. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to have some fun. If you don't have a happy planner that you love, you can make your own. Oh my gosh. Just, and then you have absolute, complete creative freedom. I just love it. I might be doing this a lot more in the next few years. So if you do like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, uh, dropping me a kind word or even just a smiley face. All those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me. Thank you.